In this lesson, we're going to take a look at listing printers and shared folders here within the Active Directory. I actually have a few shared folders already available, and I'm going to decide to only list one of them. The nice thing about that is if you have multiple shares and you don't want people to necessarily readily be able to find them, you can choose not to list them in Active Directory. I'm going to go ahead and choose to list this shared folder one here. If you don't know how to create a shared folder, I do have a previous video that lets us know how to use this. And on the permissions for this particular folder, both the domain users uh, have the domain user have been set up for read and write capabilities. And so that's what I'm going to use for this one. So let's go ahead and begin here. Now that I'm in Active Directory users and computers, I'm going to go ahead and right click here on my domain name and I'm going to choose a new organizational unit. This will allow us to basically uh, create a container for all my shared folders. And I'm just going to type in shared folders and hit OK. So here's my organizational unit for this. Within this particular organizational unit, I'm going to go ahead and create a shared folder or a link to the shared folder. So what I'm going to do is right click on it. I'm going to choose new. And you can see that I've got quite a few different options here. This time I want to choose the shared folder option. So I'll click on this. I've got the name that I want to choose for the shared folder. You can see that the folder is called share one and the actual name that's going to be um, that's currently listed under my shares is called share one. However, I can choose a different name here if I want to. I can actually just call this one maybe something like employee share. And then what I want to do here now is I'm going to actually have to have the full UNC path for this particular folder. And how it starts, it starts off with the two backslashes and then the name of the actual computer itself. And in this case, my computer name is SRV-1. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit backslash and the name of the actual share, which is going to be share1. And that will take me to this particular folder here that's being shared already on my computer. And it's going to be listed as employee share. So I'll hit OK on this. And you can see the employee share now is in my Active Directory. Now for printers, if you right click again, you'll notice you do have the option for a new printer. However, I'm not going to choose to use this option. Instead, I'm going to go to Start, Devices and Printers. And here is the actual printer I want to list in my Active Directory. This is a printer that I currently have shared. And so what I'll choose to do is just right click on it, go to the Printer Properties. Under the Sharing tab, I have the ability, you can see that the printer is currently being shared here. I've got the ability to list it in the directory, and this is going to be listed in the Active Directory. So I'm going to go ahead and put a checkbox there, hit OK, and OK, and now that is being shared. If I go back to my Active Directory, I do not see it anywhere. I can look around and you're not going to find it here, um, but it is being listed there in my Active Directory. So let's go ahead and verify this. I'm going to actually go to the client that is currently on my domain, and we'll take a look to see how they can find these particular listings within the Active Directory. So I'm going to switch over now. And here I am on the client. So what I'm going to do for the client is click on Start and go to Computer. Now, if you can arrange your Start menu to actually show the network, however, by default it does not show up. But here's where you can find the network information. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Network. And what I've got is the ability to search Active Directory. You can do this right here. So I can click on Search Active Directory. And if I wanted to, I could do a lot of searching, actually. I can find users and groups and so forth. But I do have the ability to find printers. So if I hit Find Now, I now can see the printer that was listed, which is the front office printer. And so it's an easy way to list all of the things that are um, available under Active Directory here for, from us. And so if I right click, I can actually connect to this printer and you can see some of the properties for it as well. Let's change my search. I'm going to actually go now to look for the shared folders that are available and it will clear my contents here. That's fine. Shared folders and I'll hit find now. And there it is. I have the one shared folder that's set up that's currently being shared. Now there are multiple shares on my server, it just ha so happens to be that I've only listed one in the Active Directory, so that's the only one that shows up now. The nice thing about this is now that I see this here, if I were to right click, I can actually choose to map this network drive. And I'm going to go ahead and do that to show you how to do this. If I map the drive, it'll ask me for a drive letter to pick, which by default is going to pick the Z drive, which is an unused letter and it's going to tell me where the location is. I can reconnect that login, which means whenever I log in, it can reconnect it. I can also choose to use different credentials, maybe logging in as an administrator or something of that nature. I'm going to go ahead and leave all the defaults here and just hit finish. And I'm going to close out and we'll take a look at what we just did. If I now go to start and I go to computer, you can see there it is. Share one and it's listed here. I've actually got it mapped and you can go ahead and click on it and this is the actual folder. And just to verify, let's go ahead and choose a new 
folder and you can see that I got a new folder in here I'll just rename it test and it should now be in that folder so let's go ahead and close out of this and to finish up I'm just going to switch over to the server and just to verify that, that the test folder has been created in there so let's go ahead and switch over and now that I'm here at the server I'm going to go ahead and double click inside the share folder and sure enough there is the test folder so now whenever I log in on the client that drive was mapped and I can actually see the shared folders and the printers that I decide to list within Active Directory.